good day for live from the mind of an addict. I'm Leslie May of the Most High Ministries and I welcome you to the daily debate between King Baby and Sober Gopher. This debate is sponsored by Whiskey, Milk, and Your Mom. Your Mom has designed the format three roughly one minute segments with one minute answers from each candidate. Both campaigns have agreed to these rules. For the record, I decided on the topics and the questions. I can assure you none of the questions has been shared with your mom or the two candidates. The first question is for King Baby. Mr. Baby, over the last few years, you have boasted about your ability to make things happen. That, in your words, you don't need nobody. If you are chosen to run the day today, how will you continue to keep that promise? First of all, I would like to thank Whiskey, Milk, and your mom for the opportunity to be here. My opponent thinks that if he just prays and meditates and seeks to help another person that we're gonna be all right. Well, I'm here to tell you that if it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for my efforts, we would have nothing. We would be in a van down by the river. You think that God is going to do for you what you can't do for yourself? Think again. If this clown is voted president for today, we gonna go broke. Mr. Gopher, you have one minute to respond. I'm really glad you mentioned rivers, Mr. Baby, because that's exactly what it's like. A river or a stream, if you will, of consciousness. I've learned that we're all connected on some level. And when we enter into that flow, things sort of work out. I mean, either it's gonna work out or it's gonna work out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give, give me a break, dog. You don't actually believe that shit, do you? N no, I do. We have evidence. No, 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 this is not true. How are the lights gonna be on if you just meditate all day and help others? The real world is cruel. And you won't cut it in the real world. Believe me. I know. Okay, Mr. Baby, that's a great segue to our next topic. You have insisted that you have done this alone, but there are several instances where we were nearing oblivion with your demands for more. More alcohol and more drugs. Didn't that land us in rehab a year ago? And wasn't it others who came to our aid to get us into rehab and provide a safe place when we came home? Oh, oh, this again. Yeah, how many times are you gonna bring this up? So things got a little out of hand. We didn't die. We made it out, didn't we? Things are different now. It's been a long time since we poured whiskey into milk or used dope. I mean, besides, it, it wasn't that bad. I mean, a little escape doesn't, doesn't hurt, right? Well, it, well, it didn't hurt anyone. I mean, we can't even drink Pepsi responsibly. We have the disease of more. Nothing is ever enough. Well, never enough? What, what, do, what do you know about hard work? Mr. Baby, please let him finish. You had your time. Well, 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 well I, I, I think it's important to note that if it wasn't for me pushing us to succeed, we would not have the means to even produce this piece. You're, you're right. You're right, Mr. Baby. <laughs> you do do a lot for us. I mean it. You have fought hard, and I know giving up control has, has been tough for you. Maybe we haven't thanked you enough or thought about your efforts. I want you to know it's not your fault. I want you to say it with me. No one is to blame. Only love heals. No one is to blame. Only love heals. Come on. You can no do it. No one is to blame. Say it with me, Mr. Only Baby. Love heals. 